just came home for a little smoke here. Some uh, Highland Blend from Mac Baron. Fully matured Virginia's Ready Rub Burleys. Latakia and a touch of fire cured Cavendish is a recipe. We added one of the world's finest 30 year old Scotch whiskeys. Glen Park Glass. Blah, blah, blah. From 2011. Smoked in a custom built, one of the later ones. Uh, I'm going to say 60s to 70s, probably. So I'm always looking for a aromatic that uh, is pleasing to the crowd, but decent for me. Actually, that bear blend yesterday was... Okay, it probably has a great room note. This might have a decent room note, although it has a lot of key in it, so... <coughs> Some people find that to be vaguely reminiscent of a trash heap on fire. I think it's kind of like autumn leaves burning in the backyard, but that's just me. So, I made a comment yesterday about custom belts being made in Mexico. Well, Bill Unger Jr., Ph.D., and his Bible on custom belts says on the topic... So, uh, Wally Franks, Pipes, this is getting later on in the production. Um, I won't bore you with all this. Uh, were made in the Weber factory. You know, the name, the brand shifted around a little bit, and um, Tracy Mentor was long out of the business. So, Post Weber Custom Builds, 1987 to 1997. This is really late. According to Steve Frank, the pipe business in the mid to late 80s was supplanted by the cigar business in terms of activity, and we closed down the Weber Pipe Factory in 1987 and continued to have merchandise that we owned the trademark for manufactured elsewhere. They were probably made for a little bit of time in the Butts Shokin factory in San Claude and ultimately in Mexico. <laughs> At that point, we no longer had a factory and we were trying to get made what we could elsewhere. We could easily have had things made in several places. Then probably, I think, ultimately into the 90s, what was made for us in Mexico was a reasonably good seller in a not-too-spectacular price point. All pipes were still stamped custom-built, Hacker, uh, in his book, says that near the end of its production, some of the lower-cost custom-built bowls that had been turned in France were shipped to Mexico City and given their characteristic carvings by Bill Del Rio. Unquote. I would, I would have liked, correct. I would have liked to say something about Mr. Del Rio, who was perhaps the last custom-built carver, but I was una unable to obtain any further information. I know of no way of identifying the pipes he might have finished. So there you have it, Mexico. Custom belts were also being made for Wally Frank in Italy toward the end. Here, and perhaps elsewhere, is where this grand old line came to a rather ignominious end. Illustration 344 shows two of these pipes. The full bent on top is stamped custom built imported Briar, Italy. It does bear a slight resemblance to earlier custom builds. Steve Frank, in 2000, Wally Frank's son, told me that custom belts were probably being sold out of the warehouse until sometime in 1998. That's pretty recent. We were finishing up whatever was necessary on the part of our suppliers. If they had 60 gross of something, we were having those finished up probably as late as 1996 or 1997. 
97. We had a contract to sell the company in 97, so at that point we went around and tried to clean up our obligations. There you go. Mexico. Great book if you can ever find it. So this uh, Highland Blend is okay. It's not great. Uh, it's burning down to white ash, which is nice. I was a little uh, suspicious that it was going to be a little glompy. It's nice white ash. This all from Bill over in Spokane. So this is more of Bill's generosity. Thank you, Bill. Can't say enough. I mean, that just out of the blue. So just kind of speaks to this. So anyway, little lunchtime smoke going back to work. This is not one of the made in Mexico customers. Still the later stamp. You know, it's, there's just a whole lot of uh, time finding you have to deal with with these pipes. But it's got that nice, crisp, custom built look. And these later ones, I uh, I like the rustication. Maybe it's because they're newer and they aren't as heavily smoked and they aren't as, as worn smooth, maybe. But I like that crisp rustication. And the briar seems good. Tend to be nice smokers. But, you know, there's a lot of pipes that are nice smokers. The whiskey is very mild. I'm down near the end of the month. But, Bill, thank you again. Thank you very much.